Hey guys, Bondo here. We are starting a new project, as you can hear over here. Um, I'm just getting here with Clifford. I sent uh, Biscuit and Chris over here earlier to start jackhammering this, uh, this garage slab. This is a 20 by 20 garage slab. Um, biscuit's kicking its butt. There's no wire in it. So it's coming up pretty nice. We just got an electric jackhammer. I just bought that the other day. Actually, yesterday I bought it. Um, used to have one, but somebody stole it on me, believe it or not. So this is coming out pretty good, like I said. This is busting it up. And got a bunch of jumps. We're going to have to make probably three or four trips with this stuff. Quite a bit of material here. I'll have to do the weight. We'll probably only get a third of it on each load. So, And we're... I'm a good hour from home, so that's going to take me uh, quite a bit of time just to get this stuff out of here. But we're actually just going to throw it in the dump truck. You can't really fit a piece of equipment in this short door here, so we're just going to puck it right up in the dump truck, and uh, that's how we're going to do it today. We ain't even bringing the skids or nothing over here. 20 by 20. Stay tuned. All right, guys, three hours into it, this is where we're at. All right, guys, we found a place that we can dump this stuff. Um, I'm going to dump it right in that pile right there. They charge you, but it's uh, closer than home, so we're going to dump it here. Clifford. Hey right, guys, this is what's left. They got it piled up pretty nice, separated. We're gonna get another load with Clifford. That one was actually pretty fun. So, it didn't amount to be as much as you thought, did it? Well, we'll see when it gets in the truck, but that's all right. Maybe I'll take this one home. Might need, to, right, to get yeah, right get the tamper and a little material, yeah. All right, that's what we're going to do. We're going to huck all that crap in there. And uh, then we'll head home, get some gravel maybe, and uh, 
gravel in the tamper and some wire mesh. We found some reinforcement in the slab, guys, right here. One piece of rebar. That's what held it together. Yeah, that's what things. held it all together. It's one piece of rebar, nothing else. No wire, nothing. One six inch piece. One six inch piece. All right, guys, we got it graded out. This is what we took out for the second load in Clifford. Just got to close that. I'm going to take that to my house this time. We're going to grab the tamper. We're going to grab some six mil poly, some wire mesh, maybe some expansion foam board stuff, fill seal stuff. We're going to put along these edges and we will be back to tamp it off and Jay's cutting some sheetrock that was hanging down a little bit. We'll get her all ready, and uh, we're not going to pour this till it warms up. Tomorrow it's supposed to snow, so we're going to hold off on that show. But it didn't take long. What time is it? Anybody know? 2.30. 2? 2. 2. You guys crushed this thing. 2 o'clock, and we are pretty much done with the demo. We're done with the demo. Just gotta get it tamped off and we are out of here. You're spinning. back at the job it's four o'clock we're just gonna tamp it up we got our wire mesh and stuff got my other truck got rid of the dump truck you seen we dumped off that uh concrete debris chris is gonna run the tamper across that a couple times we're gonna put six mil poly down and uh we'll be ready for concrete when the weather gets a little better like i was saying it's close to snow tomorrow we're in uh the beginning of april right now it's like she's packing pretty good that tamper weighs about 600 pounds or close to it definitely gonna compact it pretty good Get her down there. Bumper 
don't give a crap. Six mil poly down. And now we're throwing our wire mesh down. And then we are ready to rip. We put it in a piece of expansion back in here along that wood. Just keep the concrete off the wood. Um, there is a pitch in this floor. It's about four inches of pitch in this floor, I'd say. So we are going to snap a line at an angle from the top of that down to just above this uh, asphalt here. So they will have to adjust their doors a little bit. Their doors are gonna run too low. So they will have to uh, loosen up these and raise all the tracks up a little bit because we don't want the water to pool up here like it used to do. So it's gonna have an angle in it. So that's what we're doing. Here he comes. Come on, Earl. Sleepy head. He's excited for some reason. <laughs> Teddy. 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 <laughs> Easy, bum. You're crazy, man. Bro, oh, your brother's crazy. Bro's just chill. Bro's just chill. Teddy, put in my shirt. <laughs> Bro, do you want to go with Dad today? You're going to have to sit in the truck, though. You're going to have to sit in the truck. Crazy man, we can't handle crazy man. Come on, boys, let's go. Let's go. Come on, Ro, you can go with Dad. Crazy man, you will never sit in the truck. You're too hyper. Coffee. Ro, you ready to go, Bob? Come on, crazy man. Come on, get back here. Come on, Ro. Get in the truck. Come on, buddy. Get in the truck. <laughs> He's got to do his laps. Come on, bud. Come on. Get in the truck, little buddy. Come on. Ooh. You ready to go with Dad? Come on. No, don't chase no birds. Come on. Get back here. Come on. Come on, buddy. Get in here. Get in. Get in there, crazy man. You ready to go, Dad? Let's check the trailer, make sure we got everything. Ooh, got a little frost. Got a little frost last night. A little snow. Not frost, that's snow. All right, we got, looks like we got everything. Plus what's in the truck. I am actually gonna stop at the concrete plant, guys, and make sure. Everything's going the way I want it. And make sure that they're gonna put 2% in their concrete this morning. Cause I wanna make sure this concrete dries. Let's see how they make it out. Howdy! Well, they still haven't loaded me up, so. I'll just swing right by here. It's a little muddy, but. Swing by here and uh, see if we can talk to him. Get him to put some uh, accelerant in our concrete today so that we're not there all night. If the office is up there. We are all set, bro. We are gonna head to the job. We just got out of the talking to uh, Sean, dispatch guy. There's how they. I use that big loader to load up the plant. 
I'll link a video to this video, guys, and show you how they make this concrete. Um, this plant is right down the road from my house. Man, I need new wipers. Um, so yeah, they're gonna put 2% in it. He didn't realize I called. I said, I called you. He's like, oh, sorry, I missed your call. And I said, and I text you. But anyways, he's gonna put 2% in there. And uh, he actually bumped the hot water up a little bit too. Cause I go, I don't wanna be there all night. So he bumped up, they got a boiler in there. You'll see that in the video. And uh, they can adjust the water. So he bumped the water temperature up to like 70 degrees and 2% uh, accelerant. It's like 45 minutes to 50 minutes away, the job. So the concrete should be cooking by the time it gets to us, but we'll get it down and uh, it'll dry a lot faster. Right, Ro? It'll dry way faster. And we don't have to be there all night. Actually, I'm just going to help get it in and probably leave Mike and Chris to finish it because uh, I got a bunch of stuff to do today. I got to get my dump truck over to um, get some new tires on Clifford, the red dog. Um, keeps getting stuck. Those, it's got those steer tires on the back and it, they, don't, they just don't bite. So I'm going to get some new tires. I got a bunch of running around to do. Me and Biscuit. So we'll leave those guys to finish it. But I'll get some video footage of, of us getting it in least and then probably i uh, gotta go back tomorrow and cut it so stay tuned okay we're just about there i see biscuit biscuit called me and said he forgot his boots so that is not good there he is the biscuit got your boots Where's your boots? <laughs> You're gonna have I thought to. Thought today was a carpentry day. <laughs> yeah, carpentry day. <laughs> You're gonna wish it was a carpentry day with no boots. <laughs> right, Ro? Biscuit's got no boots. I got mine in the truck. I set them right in front of the door. They're a little cold, but they're in the truck getting screeds off the top of the truck. All right. I better get unloaded here. I wonder if we could just pull this trailer off to the side of his lawn. You know what I mean? Kind of leave it right there. No way much, though. Where else are we going to put it? Got Mike's truck, Chris's truck, your truck, my truck, and we got to get a concrete truck in here. Bro, calm down, buddy. Settle down. Shuttle down. I know we're at the job. It's exciting, ain't it? It's exciting. So we gotta get that on video. Biscuits homemade boot. Two uh, 50 gallon bags. Construction bags and some, <laughs> some tape. tape. Some medical tape. This is what the boots look like. That's what you need. They're nice and warm. <laughs> yeah, they'll keep you warm. We're gonna cover up these holes in some of this uh, sticky paper. That way the concrete don't fall down in there. Chris, there's a piece of plywood out here you can cut that on. Probably be slightly easier. Nah. <coughs> All right, this is the big job, guys. 20 by 20. It's gonna pitch from the back to the front. And uh, that's it. We got a chalk line down the side. It's got about a four inch pitch in it. The floor is about five and a half inches thick. It was uh, almost easier, a little more cost effective to just pour the concrete thicker than to bring in more um, gravel and make another trip up here with gravel. So it's gonna be five and a half to six inches thick, especially in the back. Tapered down to about four and a half to five in the front. And that's how we're gonna do it. We're just waiting on the mud. That's those strips. There's the strips. Just to keep that concrete from falling down in there. Like I said, we don't want that to happen. Just got some sticky paper. I'm gonna get my boots on. Um, I forgot my tripod today, so I'm not sure how great the video footage is gonna be. Maybe I can tape it to this pole right here. Maybe I can do that. Tape it to here. <laughs> yeah, we'll figure it out. Stay tuned. Here comes the mud.
Oh, big Robbie. Slithering in here. I know it's Big Robbie because I stopped at the plant. As long as he can get by a biscuit truck, which I think he can. We're gonna get him in here. He's got a, should have a five slump on that bad boy. And we got some hot water, nice 70 degree water. And we got 2% accelerant. Stay in the center of the driveway if you can, buddy. Looks like a brand new driveway. We got some, uh, a tarp down so we don't spill anything on this nice driveway it's a good thick driveway so i ain't worried about it and it ain't hot today so we don't have to worry about it doing too much you pick your side it don't matter where you start pick a hole stuff it in there mm -hmm. hold on all right big rally it's like i already seen you today or something We'll have to wheel the back a little bit and then we'll uh, shoot her in. We got seven and a half yards on there. 4,000 PSI concrete. Um, there's no fibers in it. We're gonna use wire mesh. We're gonna pull wire mesh with some uh, potato rakes. Like I said, 2% accelerant, hot water, 70 degree water. Um, that's about it. Circle T, there's their uh, Credentials right there. Circle T. Nice lettered up truck. We're gonna get this done today. I don't have my tripod, like I said, so I'm not sure how great the video is gonna be. I'll have to stop and video as we go here. More Vio Biscuits boots for everybody. Do a before and after. You wanna? We might be able to pull them right in and just shoot it. Might be able to pull you right in, Big Robbie. Bring, your, bring it down a little. We're gonna just shoot it, I think. Still got room. That's good. Yeah, we're not gonna use the wheelbarrows today. <laughs> not for this little 20 footer. Just gotta make sure we get the wire up because we got the wire mesh police watching. That's what I'm We don't wanna not have the wire up. People get mad at me about the wire. That's the one we love. See what this concrete looks like. Mm -hmm. I'll grab the potato rake here, huh? Yeah, after dinner Friday night, and then me also doubling what my drinks freaking cost. So it's like, yeah, let me paint the band house. I just think it's great. Nice. Nice. That's stiff, we're good. Yeah, You want to fight it? That's pretty tight, but uh, it'd make our life at the end of the day better. Up to you guys. Seven and a half yards. We're gonna put a couple gallons in it. Yeah, it's not flowing down the chute very good. <laughs> Mike's just putting concrete along that. That's good stuff for the edge, though, right there to hold that. Yeah, for what Mike's doing. No, I'm still waiting on my damn hook. It's in my cooler. Oh, nice. I was in my basement. I saw. I'm pulling out. Oh, you're the you're the best. Yeah. Everybody but me's got a hook. Chris is giving out hooks. I can't believe I forgot my tripod. I can't believe I forgot my hook. Yeah, I know. We're batting zero today. My legs are sweating. My screen grabs a lot of heat. Okay, guys, so I pulled the wire mesh off. There's concrete underneath it. I'm going to step on it. Look. I step on it. Look. It still comes off. Yeah, biscuit step on it. Now get off of it. Now you stuck it down a little bit. But it's still it's got, like, 
how much concrete's under it. That much concrete under it still after we walk now. Step on. Step on. You stupid haters. See? That's why you pull it off. It stays up. When you walk on it. Proof's in the pudding, boys, huh? Proof in the pudding. It's got stones and stuff. The stones get under there. The aggregate gets under the wire and holds it up. And we want it towards the bottom anyways. We don't want it in the middle. We don't want it at the top. We want it in the bottom third for the tension of the slab. When you put pressure on it, we want it to stay in the bottom about an inch and a half up in our floor like this. Robbie's just mixing her up a little bit. Just to make it flow a little bit. It's tight. What's that, about a three slump, Chris? <laughs> Maybe a four. It's pretty tight. We're looking for a five today. No sense of killing ourselves. Plus, we gotta pull it. We're not using a wheelbarrow, so we gotta pull it back there. Keeping your blue come along nice and clean? It's underneath. Oh. <laughs> that was a too soon. <laughs> in most of the way. Sorry about the video footage. We're uh, setting up the laser quick. Forgot to put a mark on the center beam. So we're gonna check it right there. We'll make this level. Then we gotta get a mark where our doorways gotta be because our doorways are gonna... Um, we can't go with that asphalt because that's all over the place. Chris is gonna set Set the laser right there to that mark. And then we'll get the center, and then this side will be the same because of the angle of the um, string line. As we come out the same distance this way, which we will. How'd we do, Chris? Eyeballing. You weren't far off, dude. Quarter inch, maybe? <laughs> Pretty damn close. Darn close. This is probably like a freaking four and a half slump, guys. Oh, dynamite right there. Alright. How's the boots working, dude? Oh, great. <laughs> great. Great, he says, oh, you got a hole in them already? Oh, boy. Yeah, it's definitely a higher than that. I assume so. Yeah, that looks like a good height right there, don't it, Chris? And we got a mark there. A mark here, so then we use our, uh, use our stick, screed stick, and we will screed it off right to there. And we'll hand float it. Definitely the asphalt's off a little bit. We were like right at the bottom of that track. Yeah, that track was the one that we went with. <coughs> Gonna need to uh, do some uh, adjusting of his doors, which we talked about. Try to do this one handed. One 
understand it even. Hmm. What's that? Just, just look awkward. Yeah, it looks, yeah. looks really awkward. That's a little spot there. That would do it, I guess. Now we mag it off, and then we rod check it. That's how we do it. get the hang of this concrete thing. Mm -hmm. Time to put a line right in it. Just like that. I mean, don't touch. I don't think I have enough here, Mike, but I'm going to run a little bit. I thought I can. I surely can. The biscuit boots. Everybody's gonna want a pair of them boots. You're gonna have to custom make them and the sell them. New Gucci's. Yeah. <laughs> the what? The new Gucci boots. Oh, the new Gucci boots. <laughs> Gucci boots. Way better than the ones, yeah. Can you puddle that on your own? I need help. Uh, I don't know. I ain't got no material here. <laughs> I'm not a numbers guy. Yeah, I'm not a numbers guy. 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 I'm not a numbers you better go behind me and pull it all back up. You gotta pull it all back up now. Get locking on the wire, big bitch. You gotta get Robbie in here, huh? A little more. Hey, Robbie, we need some more mud, kid. We need a little more in here, brother. Let me move the barrel for you. Hmm? Can you get it? I'm gonna walk on the driveway here. Let me get this out of your way, buddy. Can you make it? Oh, you're good. You're good right there. Turn us out a little, buddy. Here comes the mud behind you. Don't get it in your, don't get it in your boot, dude. <laughs> That's the joke of the day now. You just made my whole video by forgetting your boots. <laughs> it made my video so much better. All right, all right, okay. Wow. That'll do her, Bob. That'll definitely do her. Pull her in the other side. You got enough now. You ask for concrete, you got it. Sorry. That's how we put the tarp down right there. That's that beautiful driver. I might have to turn and go the other way. Get rid of some of this. You just saw that driveway beautiful. 
It's like a nice guy, though. It ain't concrete. It ain't that no, beautiful. It ain't that beautiful. <laughs> it's a really nice asphalt driveway. I don't want to wreck it. Oh, it's definitely no concrete driveway. Not like the ones we do. Got a wet screen across here from point to point. And I'm actually just gonna turn and pull it this way in case we got any extra. Yeah, we'll have a, we want that little lip there for sure. Keep the water out of it. Yeah, because the whole floor already pitches. We probably don't need to pitch the doorway too much. We gotta blend into the asphalt, which is, which is way off. Now they'll rod check it after they magged it. Oh, beautiful. You're making me proud, boys. You're making me proud. I'm getting some good video footage because it's such a small floor, I don't really have to do much. <laughs> if you need help puddling, let me know, Biscuit. You can see how stiff we're pouring this, guys. It's, it's not no... Uh, Eight swamp. This is about a nice five. We like to pour a five. Not the easiest to work with, but it gives you a really nice product when you're done. It doesn't soak into your boots that That's true, yeah. If you had an eight slump, man, you'd be you'd have concrete burns by now. He's lapping so far over, that's going to be a nice, nice and uh, angled nice. See how far he's lapping. That's the way we do it right there, guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You guys are all right, I'll tell you what. You guys are all right. They probably wasn't far off on the concrete, really. He didn't pull much out of there. It looked way like he had way too much in there. All right, let's do it, Big Robbie. You want to? He's going to hit that back real quick before we pull Robbie in. He's got like no room to work. This is such a small garage. Oh, look at that. Look at that move. Reach the rest from the doorway going the other way if he gets a couple of passes going this way. Yeah. Alrighty. Like you done that before, buddy. A couple times. Once or twice. I'm gonna grab my potato rake. Further. Uh, 
Nice 70 degree water in it. <laughs> when you're pouring in this weather is the aggregate and everything is cold the sand is cold the aggregates cold the water's cold if you don't heat it so we pay extra for hot water in this concrete this time of year what's the date what's today's date april what fifth something like that i know i'm just trying to reference it why it's so cold <laughs> Because it's spring. Yeah, it's spring in New Central New York here. <laughs> and we we usually are barely started by now. And we're already over 200 yards for the season. We're keeping Big Robbie working. The legend right there, Big Robbie. Smile for the camera, Big Robbie. Smile and wave. <laughs> you guys busy next week? It's warming up. Yeah. This is probably the last of this crap weather. We got a bunch of work next week. <laughs> How we doing today? We all right? Yeah. All right. Good. It's a big one. They don't want to get away from us. <laughs> We're going to try to uh, keep this shoe super clean. All right there. Because we got nowhere to clean up here. We're in suburbia here. There's no place to dump anything or wash anything out so we're gonna try to not have anything left over oh you ruined your boot biscuit mm -hmm. well, that was that's a shoot scraper right there that's a back cooler we're gonna get all the material put a wet field on the side definitely gonna need a little bit more but we don't want Robbie shoots cleaned out. Got a barrel on the truck. Gonna finish washing them up. Everything looks good here. Mike's just full floating it out. Nice pitch to it. Uh, we're gonna just fold this tarp up and take it home with me and wash it at the house. That's what we're planning on doing with that. Gotta keep this driveway nice and clean. 
the way we're doing it. Big Robbie's gonna back up to my trailer and wash into that barrel right there, that blue barrel, 55 gallon barrel. I got my little buddy Rotor in the truck. He's just chilling like a villain, I'm sure. Oh yeah, he's just chilling. You're my buddy. <laughs> Hi buddy! What you doing, Bob? Door's locked. Hope I pulled my keys. Oh no. He did not step on the locks. Well, thank God I thought I left the key in there. I usually don't. But I thought I left the key in there. And the door was locked. Hey, buddy. Hi, Bob. What you doing, pal? You okay in here? All right, buddy. You stay. You stay in there, little buddy. We're almost done, and then we'll head home. This is how we're doing that. You can see here, there's really just nowhere to walk out, guys. Everybody's got really nice lawns. We're just gonna take this mess home with me. Hopefully you can keep it down to 55 gallons or less. Hopefully less. Biscuits cleaning up, and that's the way we do it. Sometimes you gotta improvise. Sounds like he's got maybe a yard left on the truck, which is fine. We didn't want to run out up here. We're about an hour from home from the plant, so. <laughs> we had to reach out <laughs> to unlatch the door. Now we gotta do this one. This one's gonna be even harder. Unlatch the door so we can close them and keep the heat in. We forgot to do it earlier. Oh, you're so close! Yeah. Oh, I just gotta turn it. There you go. I got her. Biscuit with his freaking long arms. Close them doors, keep that heat right in there. We're gonna wash this a little bit. It come off the tarp. It's actually old stuff. Getting his doors. Because when we set the door down, there's a big gap on this side, so we just checked it. So, yeah, there's like a wicked gap over here. That would suck because we have no concrete. <laughs> but that uh, door actually has to be raised, anyways, because you can see it's down all the way and there's a gap. It's not quite the same thing with this one, it's touching. Yeah, yeah. So, we already told the homeowner he had to move his doors up, which he does have room because this used to be dug way down so the water would kind of collect there and we got a pitch and going this way and we stayed a little bit above his blacktop so water doesn't run in there. That's the way we do it. Oh, my hero, look at that. Oh, thank you. Christmas come late. Christmas, birthday early, Christmas late, something, I don't know. I'll take it. Oh, I know why you gave it to me because it's red. <laughs> It's red, he didn't want it. Yeah, you can't buy the green ones anymore. Oh, I like the red, I don't mind red. Chris hates red. So I painted the tip of his come along red yeah, just, to, just to mess with him. him. How's our concrete? Oh, it's got red on it. Where's that? Oh, that's the black one. That's black. Wait, that's the blue hat. Driver. Look at that. You think it was the driver, Big Robbie? It was the driver. Yeah. Oh, yeah, let's check the other one. This way we know that we're, uh... Oh, look at that. But his garage door is out of level. But we're not. We're perfect. We use a laser. I'm just cleaning up the driveway a little bit from the tarp. Had a little slurry on it. Old stuff. Big Robbie's gonna take off. Water. Using all Robbie's water. Hey, we gotta get our money's worth out of that hot water, buddy. That's expensive. That's twelve. It's twelve dollars a yard. Oh, that's it. Fourteen. Hopefully the weather. All right, guys, we're out of here. I got Chris 
and Mike gonna stay and finish this floor. I left the power trowel here. We put these boards up to keep any drizzle off that front edge of that garage. Me and Biscuit are gonna take off. Um, I'll give you some video footage tomorrow. We're gonna come back and cut it. Rose ready to go, aren't you, buddy? Yeah, we're out of here. This is the kind of weather we're dealing with. It's raining pretty good now, so. Good thing we covered them doorways up. It's like a wet rain. It's like a cold, snowy rain, I should say. Yeah, wet rain. Like rain's dry. <laughs> Terry out today, Bubbies. He's out. Bub's tired. I worked him hard this morning. Back at my house, guys. I gotta wash the tarp off. That's kind of how we do it. If we're in uh, suburbia, that land where there's nowhere to clean anything, we just try to use a tarp like this. Let everything get on the tarp and then come back to my house. I don't care about getting a little concrete on my grass or whatever. Clean it up. We saved a, quite a mess over there. So we'll spray this whole tarp off and then uh, sweep it off and fold it up for the next time. Some concrete over there too. Alright guys, just getting back here the next day. Chris and Mike got it really nice looking here. Homeowner really likes it. Left a little fuzz on it. That's a hand trowel finish. You see these little fuzz balls that you will actually just pick right off with your fingernail. They wear off, but it leaves it a little bit grippy like that so you don't slip when it gets wet. So we are going to cut it probably just once down the middle here and probably once this way. It's a small garage, it's only 20 by 20. Any room lined out here, outside the seal, so we'll show you what it looks like when we cut it.
Okay guys, there it is. All sealed up. Caught and sealed. It'll dry out. You can see where it's starting to dry here. That's just a water-based care and seal. It just helps with salt, helps slow down the drying process. Um, I showed you what brand it was. But customer's really happy. Um, we're really happy to get it done for them. And we're out of here, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Smash that like button. Uh, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And uh, leave me a comment. Um, anyway, good, bad, and different. Throw in a comment in there. I appreciate that. It helps the channel out. And uh, we will catch you on the next one. We got a couple pours next week. So stay with us.